critical angle and total internal reflection. In our earlier session, we have learned about laws of refraction. We had learned earlier that refraction is the bending of light rays at the surface of separation from one medium to another medium of different densities. The light ray passes from rarer medium to denser medium. When it passes from rarer medium to denser medium, it bends towards the normal line and when it passes from denser medium to rarer medium, it bends away from the normal. The angle between the incident ray and normal is called as angle of incidence. The angle between refracted ray and normal is called as angle of refraction. When the light ray travels from higher density to lower density in different angles, the refracted ray bends from the normal and the angle of refraction is greater than the angle of incidence. When angle of incidence increases, angle of refraction also increases. At a point, the refracted ray takes the path along the water surface and the angle of refraction is less than 90 degree. When the light ray passes from denser medium to rarer medium, the angle of refraction is 90 degree. The corresponding angle of incidence in the denser medium is called as critical angle. Total internal reflection. When the light ray traveling from denser medium, if the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle, then the light ray doesn't enter into the rarer medium and reflects back into denser medium. This phenomenon is called as total internal reflection. During the phenomenon of total internal reflection, the light ray doesn't get absorbed or transmitted or refracted from the surface of separation of water. The light ray always gets reflected back into the denser medium.